Gordon Lightfoot. That is who we react to today. Never heard of him. Never heard of him in passing, in conversation. Never. Never heard of this man. So with that being the case, you know we got to do some research. But I also want to go ahead and mention the name of this song, which is Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Now, when we say wreck, um, and in the way that it's phrased, it's as if he's talking about a ship. But maybe this will be one of those metaphoric, uh, you know, you know, a, a lot of the the words will reference of a ship, but there will be real life human characteristics to like go with it i don't know i'm just kind of rambling at this point but i've never heard of this guy i've never heard of this song so we got to do some research we have to do some research so here we go gordon meredith lightfoot jr was a Canadian singer and songwriter and guitarist who achieved international success in folk, folk rock, and country music. He is credited with helping to define the folk pop sound of the 1960s and 1970s. He's been referred to as Canada's greatest songwriter. Wow. And his songs have been recorded by some of the world's most renowned musical artists, Lightfoot's by biographer Nicholas Jennings said his name is synonymous with timeless uh, with timeless songs about trains and shipwrecks rivers highways lovers and loneliness so there is a good chance that this is legitimately about a ship um, based off of what we just read he's been signed to United Artists Reprise Warner Brothers Linus and True North familiar with a couple of those uh, several of his albums achieve gold and multi-platinum status internationally okay well it seems to be widely respected um, amongst his peers and people throughout the industry, it didn't really. It, 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 I mean, outside of what I just read about his albums, um, it really didn't touch on uh, a lot of his commercial success. So I'm going to assume, considering that we just read that he wrote music, so it, it, and it was kind of written in a way to where it's like he wrote songs and then just gave it to artists. It didn't seem like he was necessarily like a songwriter, like somebody who sits with a particular artist and makes music with them. It was almost like um, like he worked for the label and then gave the song to a particular artist. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know, but this I'm going to assume this is his song. Um wreck of the edmund fitzgerald will do the song research afterwards it says from summertime dream i'm gonna assume that's the name of the album that the song comes from but we'll do the song research afterwards but i'm really excited to hear this so let's go The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down At the big lake they call Gitchagumi The lake it is said never gives up her dead When the skies of November turn gloomy With a load of iron ore 26,000 tons more Than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty that good ship and true was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early 
ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang could it be the north wind they've been feeling? So he's legitimately talking about a ship. Um, I don't know why I thought it, this was going to be metaphoric. Um, uh, he was probably going to be talking about a person, but in 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 relation to a uh, a ship. But he's it sounds like this is really about a ship. Um, well, at least the people who are on this ship. Um, wow. Yeah, this is a first. This is a first. The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound And the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too T'was the witch of November come stealing the dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind Supper time came, the old cook came on deck Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know you The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril Later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald So, and I was really about to say The correlation between, or the relation between folk rock and country Like, it sounds so similar But this is definitely more, more folk than it is country but like when you, when you hear like just certain things like I, I would love to know the exact difference between folk rock and country music because they literally seem like they're the same thing I you know I was just sitting here thinking like because recently I've been reacting to a lot of country and the fact that they don't label him as country they label him as folk rock um, I'm, I'm just kind of curious why that is. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the words turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay If they put 15 more miles behind her They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke deep and took water And all that remains is the faces and the names Of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron Rose Superior sings In the rooms of her ice water mansion Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario 
takes in what Lake Erie can send her. The iron boats go as the mariners all go, with the gales of November remembered. In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. I like that. I really, really like that. I, the fact that I'm doing this so late, and the fact that it was like, not that it, I won't say it was smooth or like soothing, but it definitely like almost became like a lullaby at one point, and I was kind of getting a little tired. Um, but I really liked his voice. I loved. I love the instrumentation was pretty cool, but I really love the storytelling of it all. Um, so the fact that that's kind of what he's known for, I would completely agree, at least in the one song that I heard. Um, the song is to memorialize the sinking of the bulk carrier SS Edmund Fitzgerald. Oh, wow. It was a real ship. In Lake Superior on nineteen on November tenth, nineteen seventy five, Lightfoot considered this song to be his finest finest work. Appearing originally on his nineteen seventy six album Summertime Dream, uh, Lightfoot re recorded the song in nineteen eighty eight for the compilation album Gotcha. The song chronicles the final voyage of the Edmund Fitzgerald at it, as it succumbed to a massive late season storm and sank in Lake Superior with the loss of 29 crewmen. Lightfoot drew inspiration from news reports he gathered in the immediate aftermath, particularly the cruelest month published in Newsweek magazine's November 24th, 1975 issue. Lightfoot's passion for recreational sailing on the Great Lakes informs his ballast verses throughout. Lightfoot recounted how he had agonized over possible inaccuracies while trying to pen the lyrics until his lead guitarist Terry Clements convinced him to do what Clements' uh, favorite author Mark Twain would have advised. Just tell a story. Deviations from the facts of tragedy include... According to the song, Edmund Fitzgerald was bound fully loaded for Cleveland. Indeed, the final destination of the ch uh, ship on this voyage was its home port of Cleveland to lay up for the winter. However, the ship was first heading to Zug Island near Detroit where it was to discharge its cargo of taconite, iron, or pellets. Gotcha. The Edmund Fitzgerald was not specifically coming back from from some mill in Wisconsin, iron ores is first processed at a mill to form the ore into pellets, 
which are easier to transport. Hmm. Definitely gonna have to do some more research. Uh, the song mentions possible causes of sinking, and while there is still debate about the cause, exploration of the wreckage found the bow and stern relatively close to each other on the lake bed floor, ruling out that it might have slipped up, that it might have split up on the surface as a primary cause of shrink, uh, sinking. Lightfoot single version hit number one in his native Canada. In the United States, it reached number one in Cash Box and number two on the Hot 100. All right, now. I really like that. Again, y'all really have to explain the difference to me the difference between folk rock and country music. Again, they literally sound like they're bo like they're off the same arm of music, um, and they're definitely related in many elements. But I'm just really curious to know what elements. Like, what is the true, you know, like how do you truly differentiate what's folk rock and what's country music? You know what I mean? Because this sounded like something I would have heard a country singer sing. Um, but because it was done primarily over an acoustic guitar and very simple and laid back, um, I don't know. I, I just I would love to hear more from this guy. I would love to hear more from this guy. I like I already want to pick his brain. Like why did why this specific ship? Um, why did he write the things that he wrote? Like why did he include certain things? Take certain things out. I'm 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 excited to hear more from Gordon Lightfoot. Um The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald it's um it's very tragic when you hear it. But because the, the music itself is kinda like uplifting and, and, and kinda upbeat, you kinda don't take it that way. But this was pretty sad. Um when you consider the, the descriptions he was given of the wreckage, you know what I mean? So I'm excited. I can't wait to hear more from Mr. Lightfoot. I thought he was incredible. And I'm happy to begin my journey with him. Um, yeah, just let me know what else from him I need to check out. And I definitely will. But as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Mr. Gordon Lightfoot. Peace.